Are you tired of Instagram not giving your post enough reach? Well, you're definitely not alone. It seems like freaking 99% of Instagram users are pissed about the reach tagging and a lot of people are annoyed that they're not even reaching their own audience that they worked so hard for. If you don't believe me, just check out Instagram CEO Adam Osiris comment section and you'll see how pissed people really are. Needless to say that low reach leads to slow growth and fewer clients, which is scary for any business, let alone small businesses and solopreneurs. The algorithm is unfortunately changing all the time and some of the things that worked a few months ago are completely irrelevant right now. But what if I told you that there are some creators that are killing the game right now? Like this, this and this account. And they're not doing anything special, but what they all have in common is this one thing. They understand what works in 2024, which helped them blow up and get millions of views in the past few months. I studied hundreds of accounts like this. I've looked at hooks, post formats and other algorithm changes to see what actually works in 2024 and I discovered seven pretty significant algorithm changes that surprisingly I don't think I've heard anyone talk about yet so I'm about to spill the tea in this video. By the end of this video you'll know all of the latest algorithm shifts and which game changing techniques work in 2024 with one of the changes being potentially the best news you've heard in a while so let's start with this one. Alright so the first technique is by far far the most important one and the easiest to implement. And it blows my mind that not many people are talking about this. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I started my account in 2019 and I posted every day for years. I was posting every day because my reach was relatively consistent for each post. So three years ago, there weren't major differences in if you posted a mediocre photo of your lunch or an extraordinary masterpiece. Well, the second one might have gotten a little bit more reach, but there wasn't that much of a difference. It all really depended on how big your audience was. Viral posts weren't even really a thing back then. So basically, the more you posted, the more overall monthly reach you got, and that meant more sales. So everyone did it. But things have changed dramatically. There's no consistency anymore as far as reach goes. Nowadays, one reel can reach a thousand views and and the next one could reach 10 times or even a hundred times more, no matter your audience size. So for example, I have a reel that reached 2 million people and the next one that has like 10 or 15,000 views. So one good post can outperform 10 or even a thousand mediocre ones, which is why it would make sense to focus on posting top-notch content only and stop wasting time on mediocre posts, right? The times of taking photos of our morning coffee and slapping on the Valencia filter and getting tons of likes for it are over. Here are some other types of posts you should stop making. Posts where you celebrate every follower milestone with a single post. Instead, try creating a reel where you share your business or Instagram journey. Or the ones where you share your lunch and say happy Friday. A better way to share behind the scenes is to create a photo dump carousel with behind the scenes photos of your day instead. Or the ones where you share your text testimonials in a single post. These are a bit boring. So share your client journey instead and add screenshots or video testimonials at the end. So you can basically share the same thing but in a different way. Add more substance and make it more engaging and fun. So use the time it takes you to create three regular posts and create one exceptional one. It can either be more valuable, more entertaining or both. I also suggest putting a lot more focus on researching trends and studying what works in other industries and seeing how you can adapt it to your business. Focusing on creating better content doesn't mean that every one of your posts is going to get crazy rich though, but at least you gave it your best shot and it has a potential, right? Alright, so now we understand that daily posting is dead, but to fully understand why scaling down is the right decision for your business, you need to understand this next algorithm change. So Instagram recently started pushing posts from weeks or even months ago, which is a huge change because the shelf life of Instagram posts used to be only a day or two, especially for carousels and static posts. So Instagram really valued recency and that's why daily posting was the norm back then. But in the past few months, Instagram expanded life cycles by quite a bit for all types of posts. A post that pops up can get you reach for weeks or even months to come. Just look at the explore feed and look at the dates. For example, this post was posted on January 10th, this one on January 30th and this one on November 24th, so months ago. So we all want to get this super long shelf life for our posts, but there's still one gigantic issue that everyone faces. How do we achieve this? 
What's that one secret ingredient that we're missing here? Well, the answer is simple, but not necessarily easy. So in order to achieve this, we have to give the algorithm what it wants, right? And it all boils down to one thing, which I'm gonna talk about in a moment, but can you first guess what it is? All right, so I'm gonna pretend you said D and guessed it. The next algorithm secret is increasing the queen of all metrics, retention. But not in the way you think. We usually talk about user retention for videos, but Instagram takes in account retention on all types of content you post. Reels, carousels, single posts and stories. It not only measures how long people watch your videos, it also looks at how long people look at your stories, if they watch it all the way through or do they skip forward. With carousels, they look at how far people scroll and how long they're looking at your slides. So you want to expand that watch time on all types of content you post. And here's a hot tip not many people know about. Captions count towards your retention. So when someone reads through your caption, it counts as watch time. So if your caption is long and more importantly interesting, it will add to your watch time significantly. So try and increase retention on all types of posts, which basically means make it as interesting as possible and cut the fluff. All right, so now we know how to give the algorithm what it wants, but all this is in vain if we do this one thing the algorithm hates, but doesn't want you to know. Why am I speaking about the algorithm like it's a person? <laughs> so there are rumors swirling around that Instagram is giving less reach to content that sends users away from the platform. So you've probably already noticed by now that stories that have links in them that send your story viewers away from the platform have way lower reach than stories that don't have links in them. But I've even heard rumors that even writing link in bio in the caption or saying it on video might limit the reach of your posts. Which could be possible since Instagram has image and speech recognition technology, so the algorithm knows everything you write in your graphics or say on video. But what to do instead? If we want to have a sustainable business, we have to send people to our website somehow, right? So there are a few sneaky ways to get around this. You can either use other words to say the same thing, like some people say you know where to find it, or use a link emoji instead of saying the word link. Another way around this is to use an automation and ask people that are interested in more to either comment or DM you. And then you can either just send them the link or use an automation service like ManyChat to do it automatically. If you want to know how you can set up this comment to DM automation for free, then watch this video. This is not only great because you're not saying the phrase link in bio in your post, but your engagement will increase too because this will significantly boost the number of your comments and DMs. Increased engagement will definitely help with getting on the algorithm's good side, but there's still one gigantic issue that most people face not growing fast enough or not growing at all. There's this hidden gem in Instagram insights that everyone is ignoring, and frankly, I'm surprised because it's the key to fans' growth. It's this graph right here. I'm sure you've already seen it, but without my external reach hacking method, you can unlock its true potential. You see, there are two types of reach, internal and external. Internal is the reach from your audience, so the people that already follow you, and the external reach is from new people that don't know you yet. So Instagram usually shows your posts to both of these groups. After you post, it tests which type of audience responds best to that post, and then it decides how many internal and how many external people will see it. So some posts get more internal reach while others get more external reach. So if you want to grow as fast as possible, you want your post to be shown to new people. So you want them to have as much external reach as possible, right? Now, of course, you can't make the algorithm show your content to non-followers only, but what you can do is study your insights and see which types of content is getting most external reach and focus on that types of formats or posts. So recreate them as often as possible or even create a series. So for example, this post, which has mostly external reach, is definitely worth recreating, but this one that has mostly internal reach is not. So this strategy is great for fast growth, but after that fast growth period, focus on nurturing your followers as well by posting things that appeal to your internal audience, aka followers. Don't focus just on getting new people to your account. All right guys, so these are my updates on the algorithm. I'm gonna keep you posted when new changes start rolling in, and that's why you'll want to subscribe and like this video too.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.